All right, guys, you know it is officially election season when we get a story like this. Trump officially calls for immediate debate with Biden for the good of the country. For the good of the country. So he was on uh, Dan uh, Bongino's show, and he said, I was almost going to say Bongo Bino. <laughs> Dan Bongino's show, and he's going to say the following. And I don't think he's going to run. And I don't know if it's donors or otherwise. It might be his family. It might be something. I don't think he's yeah. going to run. But I'd like to yeah. go for immediately debates. I'd like to debate him now because we should debate. We should debate for the good of the country. So I will officially on your show call. I will. Oh, wow. I also, Look at that. Also, the thing about I don't think he's going to run, he's already running. He already won New Hampshire and won South Carolina. I don't know what that means. I don't think he's going to run. He's obviously running. Donald J. No, no, Trump calls for debates against uh, Joe Biden. I mean, that's great. So we, we can break talk about these problems, Dan, and get him to... It change his ways but i am officially doing that i also put out you probably Isn't noticed that i'll take his spot at the super bowl if they want we'll get very yes. good ratings biden dropped out of the super bowl interview said i'm not going to do it and trump's like i'll take the spot dean phillips also said he'd take the spot lol look there's actually a lot to say about this because remember he ducked every single republican primary debate every single one and he made the argument like they're so far behind why would i even do it it makes no sense why would i do that well as i've told you guys before i think it should be a law that if you want this position, you are mandated by law to debate. The least you could do is test your acuity and your ideology and your policies in front of the world against your opponents. That's the very least you could do if you want this position. He skipped all the debates. Which then begs the question, well, why do you want to debate now? And look, I think the answer is very simple. I think he genuinely was a little shook to debate DeSantis and Nikki Haley and Chris Christie and some of the other people. I don't think he's scared to debate Joe Biden. But now, interestingly enough, and this, this part I think is controversial, this take I have is probably more unique, um, I think Trump would have kind of easily handled all of the Republicans in the primary debate, and I actually think the dynamic doesn't set up great for him debating Joe Biden. Why? For the same reason the debates didn't go well for Trump the last time he ran, which is he came across as obnoxious and arrogant and like he was badgering Biden. And like... The aggression, for whatever reason, was a little more tempered, and it worked better against Hillary. I think Trump did very well in the Hillary debates, although I think some of them Hillary won, but I think Trump did better overall in the Hillary debates. Against Biden, he was too aggressive, too obnoxious, too arrogant, was badgering him too much, and it actually got to a point where it was, like, distasteful. Everybody was like, ugh. And a lot of people think Biden won those debates. And I think a similar thing could happen now, especially with Biden, like, mentally, let's keep it real, he ain't there, right? And so... If you had this guy who's hopped up on Adderall badgering this old man, I think it might have the same vibe it had the last time around when it was like, hey, dog, like, can you at least let homie get a word or two in? Because he was like going over the top and not letting Biden speak. But all right. So he said this. Joe Biden chimed in as well here and was told that Trump said, for the good of the country, I want to debate you right now. Let's see what he says. Mr. President, Donald Trump is ready to debate you right now. Do you accept? <laughs> 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 Pardon? What they debate you immediately, you said. Immediately? Yes. Uh -huh. Will you well, debate I, him? If I were him, I'd want to debate me, too. You got nothing else to do. <laughs> if I were him, I'd want to debate me, too. <laughs> Shouldn't he have said, if I were him, I wouldn't want to debate me? Isn't that what he was, like, trying to say? I mean, I guess he goes on to say he's got nothing else to do, so maybe it does kind of make sense, but... He actually does have a lot to do. He's got 91 criminal charges. His ass needs to be in the courtroom. That's where it needs to be. Look, do I want to see debates? Yes, I do want to see debates. Like I said, I think it should be a law. But I think it's basically um, political malpractice and a dereliction of duty for Biden to have not debated Marianne Williamson and Dean Phillips and Cenk Uger and whoever the fuck else wants to run. And I think it's political malpractice for Trump to not have debated Nikki Haley, DeSantis, Chris Christie, and all the other freaks and ghouls and goblins like Eyebrow Boy, uh, what's his name, D Doug Burgum, and Asa Hutchinson, who barely exists, admittedly, but she should have had the crack at Trump and all that stuff. So, I don't know. I find it obnoxious that they just, it's all like whim and what they feel. Trump's like, I don't, he genuinely thinks like, I'm, I'm a little scared of debating all the Republicans, so he didn't do it. But now he thinks he can crush uh, Biden, so he's like, let's go. So, but will they actually agree to it? I don't know. At this point, I, I don't think both of them have actually agreed. I know Trump is willing. I don't know if Biden has actually given the green light yet. I think they should debate. But guys, let's be honest. What we're looking at here is the last thing any of us wanted, at least people who follow politics as closely as we do. The last thing we wanted was another 
Trump versus Biden rematch, and that's what we're getting. And I find that absolutely soul-crushing. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, I despise these motherfuckers, but what I would give for a Newsom versus DeSantis race as opposed to Trump versus Biden right now? And again, this is not a defense of those people. I despise them, and in 15,000 segments, I've ripped them a new asshole or two. But I would so much rather have something like that. Because at least it feels less existential in that scenario when it's those two. In this scenario, it's like, at any given moment, either one of them could die, right? At any given moment, uh, Trump could be kicked off the ballot or be found guilty of the 91 criminal charges, and we have a constitutional crisis on our hand. At any given moment, Biden could shit his pants on stage. I mean, like, what are we really talking about here? What are we doing? I don't know the answer to that. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.